Hey, what up, man? It's me, K. Kemp, man. Big salute to Spin Rilla. Rest Sound 427 Music in the building. Turn up. OG. If I keep drinking, man, this shit gon' kill me. Yeah. Where well, I'm uh, originally from, I was born in Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? I came to Atlanta. I say when I was one years old, you know what I'm saying, my dudes moved out the hood and came, you know what I'm saying, try to find a better start. So she picked Atlanta. This is when Atlanta was really up and coming and becoming that, you know what I'm saying? So I've been here the majority of my life. I've been on the north side, you know what I'm saying, Cobb County. I was in Smyrna first for, you know, half my life, then I moved to Marietta. So I just been a Cobb nigga for a long time. So salute to the north side, you know what I'm saying, the real north side, the original north side, you know. And that's what it is. <laughs> that's what's all I knew, you know what I'm saying? I ain't. Shit, I ain't really had a ball to pick up and just leave as a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the city, you know what I'm saying, my whole life. I uh, I moved out to L.A. for about a year and a half, you know what I'm saying, during the um, the album time, you know what I'm saying, just to get a new vibe, just just to, just to feel something else, just to feel a whole different energy as far as with the music, but shit, this all I know, you know what I'm saying? This, I can't go nowhere for real. What made me want to rap? i tell you what made me want to do music. I wouldn't even say rap. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to be a rapper at first. I was on some R&B shit at first. And that just off, you know what I'm saying, just being, you know what I'm saying, back home, all my, my, my family, they was all elder, you know what I'm saying? They was older, you know what I'm saying? They 40s, 50s. So all I heard was like the Sam Cooks and the James Brown Temptations, you know what I'm saying? All that old school shit, you know what I'm saying? I was just always in touch with the melody side, you know what I'm saying? When I used to hear singers just hit certain melodies, I used to always be drawn in like, damn, I wish I could do that shit, you know what I'm saying? So. When I started this shit, I was really just trying to sing on some, you know what I'm saying? So my mom like, hey, I, I remember one time I was watching Temptation, my mom had got out of work. I'm in the garage, you know what I'm saying? We had the garage, we turned the garage into a room. And I told my mom, I was like, man, I think I can sing, right? So I hid in the closet. We had, you know, you know them closet, them old closets with the, with the wood people, you could see through that motherfucker. So I'm in that motherfucker trying to sing the Temptation while the movie on, you know what I'm saying? Like shit like that, I was like, damn, what the hell was I on? But you know what I'm saying, you could just tell back then I was, aiming towards that wave, you know what I'm saying? But the older I got, you know what I'm saying, and the Gucci's came, the Tilts came, and you know what I'm saying, listening to Outkast and the Snoops and Paul, you know what I'm saying, all the, all the niggas, all the legends before us. I just, let me try this rapping shit, you know what I'm saying? I started rapping, and I was like, let me go back and try to put this singing shit on this rapping shit. That's, that's around the time like Drake came out. I was like, damn, I, I was on this shit, but you know what I'm saying, that shit wasn't cool, you know what I'm saying? I heard Drake doing I was like, oh, so niggas fucking with this type of shit. So I was like, all right, let me practice my shit some more. Let me, let me keep going, and then you got K-Count. You know what I'm saying? That formed the K-Count. K-Count, man, that's my first and last name, bro. You know what I'm saying? Chris with a K, Campbell. Just chopped that bitch up. I had hella rap names back in the day, but <laughs> K-Count was the one that stuck. I've been in K-Count since like ninth grade high school. You know what I'm saying? I was just in class thinking of rap names, and I told one of my partners, I said, I'm gonna call myself K-Count, because we was always rapping. We was all young niggas just rapping and shit. And niggas start calling me Count, you know what I'm saying? Cake, and just stuck and shit, you know what I'm saying? Been that way for a long time. Man, I just make I just make great music, dog. Like, I don't really put myself in no box no more, you know what I'm saying? Because creatively, I be trying to push the limits, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't just I don't just make rap music. I don't just make R&B music, you know what I'm saying? I song right, so I'm, I'm on the pop side. I'm doing all type of shit. I'm, I'm trying to push the boundaries and just make shit that just niggas can feel. I'm just trying to create a whole vibe with niggas just they might not understand it at first, but shit, when you feel it, you feel it, you know what I'm saying? Cause niggas ain't making music you feel. A lot of niggas making just music, you know what I'm saying? They making just shit, you can just, you, you, you get drunk, so you gonna feel that motherfucker when you drunk, but niggas gotta make that shit that you feel that's gonna last 10, 20 years from now, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like, that's the type of shit I'm on, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm behind the scenes, I'm recording, I'm engineering, I'm doing the beat, I'm I'm all over the place, you know what I'm saying? When niggas see me, they think I just rap. They, they think cut off, they think all that. That type of shit, but it, it's, it's way deeper than that, you know what I'm saying? I got my own label, I got a whole, whole motherfucking streamline of just talented motherfuckers that we just locked in with, trying to just take this shit to the next level. Real sound, 427 music. 427 is my motherfucking birthday, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, I, I, had, I, had, I didn't have 427 as a label since like, oh wait, I didn't have them LLCs before a nigga even popped, you know what I'm saying? I was ahead of that shit a long time ago. So that was just something that just been, you know what I'm saying? So. It ain't no sense now to try to change it, you know what I'm saying? It's been 427 so long, so, but I just took it and, 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 and put rare sound over it. So it just, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of selfish, it's my birthday, my label, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't, I don't look at it like that. 427 just, it is what it is, but rare sound is the umbrella. That's the, that's the music, that's the vibe, that's the creativity, that's the all the shit, rare sound under 427. Man, how did I discover Spin Rilla? I'm the type of nigga, I'm real in tune with a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit don't really pass me when it comes to new artists, when it comes to, 
new websites, new blogs, new anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm always watching. I'm always seeing what the fuck going on. And this around the time, uh, you know, I was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? They had a, a great run. And I think I was on Twitter. And either I kept getting tweeted with some little spin really link. Like it, it, it was real real. Like I kept seeing it. Like every every once in a while, I was like, what the fuck is spin really like? You know what I'm saying? This is before niggas, I ain't know what the fuck spin really was. So I got down, I clicked, and I was like, oh, these niggas trying to start a mixtape. I, I, I seen what the fuck it was. I was like, oh, these niggas trying to, you know what I'm saying, be on some mixtape shit. So I was like, okay, let me hit these niggas up. And I remember I DM the page. I was like, what's up, boom, boom? I, I, I found out I was talking to Buddy. <laughs> Long time ago, you know what I'm saying? When we said I was the first one to be on that shit, I was like, the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? So. When I, when I realized what was going on, I had told my partner, I was like, hey, I think this shit about it, you know what I'm saying, be some shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, time went by and I kept seeing it grow and grow and grow. I was like, I knew that shit, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I was glad I reached out early enough to, to make that connection, you know what I'm saying? Just to be in the loop of spin really, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all for that opportunity. But um, yeah, bro, I be on shit. Like, I know what the fuck coming. Like, I'm, I'm not out the loop. I am very in the loop. The billion, the billion. The billion strings feel good, you know what I'm saying? It feel real good, just off the simple fact that I ain't had no uh, song on the radio in about two years. You know what I'm saying? My last record was comfortable. And with us, you know what I'm saying? With my label, Red Sound, you know what I'm saying? We real we real big on the numbers. Like, at the end of the day, don't shit matter if them numbers ain't right. You know what I'm saying? It can, it can look good. A motherfucker can make it look good, but if them numbers ain't really talking, it ain't adding up. You know what I'm saying? So we real big on the numbers, and we see what I'm doing on the numbers end, like on the on the just the, the st statistic side, so we knew that shit was gonna come. Cause I'm dropping like, like Kiss Four, Slumlord Two, uh, drop that rare project. I've been dropping, you know what I'm saying? And all that shit is doing is just going up. Like a motherfucker might not see it, but we see what the fuck going on. The numbers is going up. So I had got a text. I knew I, I hit a billion, probably like two or three weeks before I even got that plat. Cause my manager like, bro, you just hit a billion on, you know what I'm saying, on streams. So I was like billion like the fuck you know what i'm saying so that's a big accomplishment just off the simple fact that i ain't got shit going on radio you know what I'm saying? i ain't got no mainstream record i've been dropping on the underground fuck with your boys all that shit i've been dropping on underground but as far as like the mainstream it's two worlds you got the underground you got the mainstream you know what i'm saying you got the nine to five motherfuckers getting their car every day and just go to work and just hear that and be like oh that's what's going on and you got the niggas that's in the street that's really locked into the, the to the culture you know what i'm saying but we locked into the culture right now mainstream we gave them a little break we got we got some shit going on that we can't really you know, I don't want to speak about it, but it's, it's blocking a whole lot of shit going on that way. So until we get that blockage out of the way, then you, you know what I'm saying, it'd probably be like five billion. You know what I'm saying? Once we hit that other side again, that's going to be a game over. That's what that's what we waiting on, because we got the underground, you know what I'm saying, the chokehold. But, you know, we just dealing with a lot of bullshit that come with the game. Man, big salute to Spinrilla, you know what I'm saying? Major salute, a thousand percent, because Spinrilla kept me in the game. You know what I'm saying? Spinrilla kept me... Like I said, the underground and the mainstream. Spin really got the underground right now. You know what I'm saying? It's a few sites. I ain't gonna say the other site because I don't too much get along with them niggas right now. So I'm gonna just keep it to Spin really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They kept us afloat, you know what I'm saying? We we, we reached out and they was they was all with the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like every time we had to drop something, they was they was with it, you know what I'm saying? And my shit was doing numbers on Spin really, so I wanna salute to them for keeping that platform open for artists like me, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with bullshit and having to really just lock lock in and just submit some, you know what I'm saying, get get that groundwork back in. So salute Spin Riller, man. Y'all got all my support.